welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy, and today is day two of our big taking a bite out of New York. It's early in the morning, and here we go, into the daylight. And there he is, man of the hour. Good morning. Let's not drink that one first. Or that one. When I said yesterday about flat surfaces and beverages, yes, these rules also apply to me. <laughs> okay, we're just gassing up the car right now, and we'll be on our way into the city for four locations to go with buses. Something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! There's something weird. Hello, we are coming up on our first location of the day. This is. The university, after the guys are kicked out of the university and they're drinking on the steps, we're going there. We're not gonna drink, but we're going there. How many minutes away are we? Seven. In theory. Roughly. Roughly seven. We'll keep you updated. This is the neighborhood. We gotta find the opening. Though. This is the part of the trip where Andy wants me to park near a university. Well, it's not illegal, is it? No, it's just <laughs> unlikely. I have faith in you, Nigel. I'm glad you do. It's Columbia University. It's where people go to uh, university. Well, we're going to try to find this university. We found the university. Well, well alright. Ste steps. Steps. Nigel just informed me this is a part of New York he's never been to. Never been here. University. Who knew? We're pointing that out. Were my mother alive, she would love that. You look dapper and sharp while doing so. Yes. You excited? I am. I am excited. I knew we would find it. You did it. Call it fate. Call it luck. Call, Call it, it karma. The but I believe everything happens in world for a reason. I believe that we were destined to get kicked out of this spot right over there. To go into business for ourselves. Here it is. Earns. That's so freaking cool. There it is. The shadow here. No, not at all. No. We're geeking out. Where we are nope. is way over there in the background. I did that Where he there. is is over there. Alright. Ghostbusters. Shut up. Oh, cool. I never knew that. I love that movie. You were okay, sitting so are over there. He's sitting somewhere way over there. I'm still filming him over there. I know. I'm filming the ground. <laughs> Yes. So we need to sit on the corner and face that way. This is it right here. Bill Murray sat right here and this delivered some of the greatest spiels of American movie history. Inspirational speech that made people get off their seats and say, let's go into business for ourselves. For whatever reasons, Ray, call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that we were destined to get thrown out of this dump. For what purpose? To go into business for ourselves. And they took his wig. And they did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, we gotta find a car. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it's very cool. There's a War of the Worlds thing over there. I'm afraid to walk near him and get shot. Okay, we are leaving the university now. On our way to... The Lincoln Center, where the fountain will be. The famous, the stiff fountain. Looking a little pale there. Maybe a little sun. The fountain's very close. Right now we're just looking for parking. Sixty. What is this in front of us? Fifty-seven, right here. I don't know where they get these guest conductors. 
I don't know where they get these guest conductors. I mean, someone should tell them it's not going to do them much good to scream at us in German. Well, I don't think that the man is competent to conduct a major symphony orchestra. <laughs> Alright, go do it, dude. Alright. Go do your thing. We are about to we are about to walk out the doors that Sigourney Weaver walked out of in Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's gone that far. Thank you so much. Tavern on the Greens in the Metropolitan Opera. What a classy, classy movie. <sighs> the School of Juilliard's up ahead. I love that really. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now leaving the fountain. We are on our way to Fifth Avenue for our final Ghostbuster. The New York, York Public Library. Yes, in the opening sequence. It's actually, this movie, it just appears in a lot of different movies, but it's like Ghostbuster thing, so. Our nice opening shot of the statue. <laughs> taxi, taxi. We are surrounded by nine taxis. We are on Fifth Avenue right now. Which on is the fashion district of town, actually. Snappy. Very touristy. It's the only thing I actually know about the city. Where the fashion district is. Okay. Michael Taylor, your straight host. Watch out. And we are on our way where? To the New York Public Library. The high amount of New York City cab drivers that have been, not only the cab drivers, but they've actually been in the United States for less than one month. Drive for hours to unfound parking, or I can do a big loop and you can film as we drive by it. I know. I don't know, because we're from Fifth Avenue and Madison Avenue in the middle of the afternoon in New York City. Yeah. In a parking area that's commercial vehicles only. All right. Want to tell them the plan? We're going to drive by. We're doing a drive by in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Showers. Can we be rushing a Vamo in a wheelchair? That was awesome. Are you serious? There it is. I don't know what the hell he's talking about being difficult. Uh, uh, Uncle Ben just pulled right up and dropped off Peter Parker and original Spider-Man. Uh, you know. Yes, Uncle Ben just dropped him off right there. Woo! Mm -hmm. There it is. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Ghostbuster Whisperer episode. Extravaganza. What? Extravaganza. Extravaganza.